Okay, in terms of uh, biometrics, um, we uh, we didn't get to face recognition, and uh, the reason uh, for that is that uh, it's a little bit more complicated. In, in terms of there are different um, uh, types of face recognition and, and different uh, possibilities for face recognition. Um, now, uh, not all of these are, are widely used, but uh, face recognition has a, a variety of things. But this uh, provides us with uh, an opportunity to, to look at uh, a greater variety of, of uh, a, a basis for, in, in a sense, a number of the other uh, uh, biometric technologies. Uh, so... Um, Face recognition, um, they're uh, one of the most common uh, ones and, and most widely used is is very simple geometry of features. You know, how far apart are the eyes? How, uh, you know, where are the eyes in, in relation to the nose and the mouth? Um, you know, so what are the, the angles there, uh, relative angles? Um, and and that sort of thing, and and that um, is is going to be very similar to uh, well the original Bertinage, um, the hand geometry, uh, those types of things. You got simple numbers that you can store, um, and therefore uh, storage, comparison, uh, searching uh, of these features are are going to be possible. But um, you know you may have. Uh, because you've you've reduced it to very simple numbers, um, that may uh, allow for uh, duplication, and uh, so we may not have unique characteristics, unique enough to make a unique and and therefore reliable uh, identification. And again, you know, if the numbers get to be too similar, um, we're going to have a number of. Uh, uh, false positives that we are saying yes this this is this person when when we shouldn't uh, be saying that um, uh, not as many uh, false negatives where uh, we say you know uh, this is not this person although you know possibly uh, you get some false negatives if people screw up their face somehow make funny faces what what have you um, so uh, you know we've we've got those possibilities in in a number of the the biometric areas and the the false positive false negative issue is is going to come back again and again in a number of aspects of access control uh overall and uh other areas like uh, malware detection that sort of thing anyways um now there's uh there's another uh, technology with regard to face recognition, and that's the detection of the veins in the face, under the skin, uh, the subsurface veins that, um, uh, generally speaking, we're using um, infrared imaging in this case, and, and we're looking at uh, how uh, 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 those veins uh, run the patterns that they make. This is very similar, you know, and functionally identical to uh, the type of thing we're doing with iris scanning. So we've, you know, we're looking at the pattern of the veins, um, and this is this is something that's different from the detection that that we use in in terms of recognizing a face. We our recognition of a face is is closer to the, uh, the geometry, but it also has an aspect of the geometry of the facial curves, the, the curvature of the face. You know, what is the, um, the actual curve of the forehead? How high is the forehead? Um, the curve of the cheeks, um, the, the curve of the bridge of the nose, all of those types of things um, can be used. And, and again, we, we do use them, you know, we, that's, you know, our, mostly our, our facial uh, recognition is, is the way we recognize uh, people, um, and uh, uh, but the the geometric curves here, um, uh, they've uh, done a, a lot of research in in terms of uh, the the types of curvatures uh, that people's faces makes, and and uh, 
come up with a set of what are referred to as eigenvalues. Uh, I think there's a dozen or 18 uh, different things. And, and the, the reason for the name eigenvalue is they can use these to sort of add together. If you add together multiple uh, eigenvalue curves for faces, you can get something very close to, if not identical to, the actual face that somebody used. So again, we have a numeric ability to store, uh, to compare, to search um, for people with regard to this uh, uh, geometry of the the curves in in the face uh, and uh, the combinations there um, that uh, it, you know provides us with with different types of you know examples of how we can make other types of biometrics using other uh, features um, than the uh, uh, the simple um, uh, face recognition that uh, you know, limited to face recognition, rather. Um, and so we've got, uh, uh, you know, a, a number of possibilities there. Now, the other aspect of, of biometrics that we haven't talked about is the, uh, the dynamic uh, uh, biometrics. And this is, um, uh, well, uh, to give an example, um, when somebody is far... Uh, too far away for us to uh, recognize them from facial characteristics, the way that we recognize them is from their gait, how they walk. And that is the way that we would identify somebody at a distance, how they walk. And we, we do this automatically. Uh, but of course, um, their activity, their, the, the speed that they walk, the uh, length of their stride, um, the way they move their arms and legs when they are walking, uh, all of this, you know, we remember and, and we can match that. Now, this is the type of thing that we can do uh, for another type of, of biometrics. And so uh, when uh, someone is is walking is moving is acting is is performing uh, various uh, types of of things um, uh, we can measure those uh, so we can we can measure length of stride we can measure speed of gait we can measure um, a number of these aspects um, and it's uh, we do this as a, as people. It's it, you know, gait is is probably not the best in terms of uh, people uh, doing. It. But we can have things like signature dynamics, not just the signature itself as it's finally produced, but how it, they produce it. Um, how much pressure do they put on the pen? Um, how fast do they write? Um, how uh, uh, you know, different measurements like that. Uh, that are dynamic, that are involved with um, the actual production rather than the end result. Um, keyboard dynamics, how fast do people type? Um, how consistent is the, the differences in, in timing uh, between when they hit the keys? Um, uh, which keys get hit uh, at what uh, level? Um, and then there's things like voice print or voice recognition. And this is not speech recognition. We're not... Uh, trying to figure out what they say, but the uh, the tone, the intonation, um, a number of of factors of the um, uh, actual production of, of voice uh, for uh, people and and the way that they speak. So a number of those uh, come together, you know, and and allow us with yet another biometric that we can measure and say yes, this is this identity, we, we authenticate that, uh, or no, it's not.